delicious Singapore hawker food at Commonwealth Crescent Food Center. Welcome to another food adventure with Getting Laws. Today, we are at Commonwealth Crescent Food Center to try some delicious good foods like this duck rice, braised duck rice. And since we are here, why don't we have some porridge, some pork porridge. And lastly, how about some curry puff, some unusual flavoured curry puff. So join me at this food centre, Commonwealth Crescent Food Centre, as I explore the food here. You want to find out more? Join me after the intro. Welcome back. So first thing is, you need to get yourself to Commonwealth MRT Station, which is actually on the east-west line, and you're looking for exit B. So once you get out of the gantry, you walk straight. After that, you turn right. And when you turn right, you'll notice that Commonwealth M MRT Station is actually an elevated MRT station, and you're actually above the street level now. So what you do is, after you turn left, you walk straight and you're actually on a bridge, an overhead bridge. Then you turn left and then you walk down to the street level. Yes, walk down these stairs. Or alternatively, you can take the lift. So instead of turning left, you walk straight. And in front of you now is actually a lift. Take the lift down from the second level which is a ticketing concourse to the first level here which is the street level then walk straight down here okay, so that is the lift if you walk straight down on your left is actually the bus stop you're not going there you're going to turn right and then when you turn right you're going to walk straight continue walking along the covered walkway straight against traffic down that direction and so once you do is either you walk straight after the lift or you can come down from the stairs here at this entrance this is the exit B entrance from Commonwealth MRT station walk straight down that direction against traffic and then at the first turning you turn right so we're at the corner now at the first turning here what you're gonna do is you're gonna turn right here and then just follow the covered walkway after you turn right, walk straight and just keep walking straight down that direction following the covered walkway and you just keep walking and walking there's actually a uh, small little coffee shop on my left here but we're not going there we're going to keep continue walking and what we're going to do is we're going to keep walking straight so we're going to cross the road over there at the pedestrian crossing and keep walking straight down that direction. And just keep walking and walking down this direction. It's actually a straight road all the way down. On my left here is a car park. On my right is actually HDB flats. Just keep walking. See more HDB flats on my right. And then on my left here is a church. But just still keep walking straight. Keep walking straight until you see a pedestrian crossing and then you turn left cross it and in front of you you'll notice there's actually a small little area with shop houses so what you're going to do is you're going to continue walking straight towards the shop house and here you can see a lot of old trees these trees here if you notice is actually the, like something like a rainforest tree it takes a very long time to grow and you can tell the age of this housing estate by the trees. These trees here, if I'm not mistaken, could, could be maybe even 70, 50 to 70 years old. And these trees here grow up to a very long age, more than 100 years old. You can tell the age of the estate by the trees they have here. And this is a very old estate. 
And if you keep walking up straight here, at this corner here, there's actually a coffee shop. And in this coffee shop, there's this shop called Enki. And it's actually well known for their deep fried chicken wings. They can eat it together with uh, maybe economic bihun, kway teow. But it's a very popular place people come here. So what you do is you walk and then you turn right up here into the coffee shop here. So in this coffee shop here is where you see the chicken wing. Keep walking straight. And then here we are. We are now at the Commonwealth Crescent Food Center. A food center here that has been around in this area here for a very long time since 1965 and it has served this area here the people who live in this area for a very long time and there are lots of interesting food here because at the older estates you'll find that you can find uh, more interesting food better quality of food than as compared to the newer estates and since this place here is quite old there are lots of interesting things that we can eat here and also right next to the food center is this at this corner coffee shop there's another place called two chefs eating place and here they sell zizha or they actually cook different types of chinese dishes as you order it and here this place is also very popular and a very good place for zizha if you really like it it's a very good place for zizha if you have a craving for it The first place we're having here, the first item we're eating is at from this store called Chinatown Apo Braised Duck. And here they sell braised duck. It's a very old school flavor dish that you get from this store here. And here, this set I ordered cost me $5.50. It consists of braised duck together with dessert and also liver and with rice. And what you get here is first of all the braised duck. You notice here something very different is, is the sauce that comes together with the braised duck. It's very dark, it's full of soy flavor, and it's lighter or what more watery than you get from other shops. But here, when you taste the flavor of this sauce here, you get a very strong soy flavor that is very flavorful and helps to neutralize the duckiness of the duck. And like I said here, it's a very old school flavor and then it comes together with a very nice spicy and sour chili sauce. The tanginess of this chili sauce helps a lot with the meat here. Goes very well together, complements the dark soy sauce very well. And here, I like the meaty and tender parts of the duck. And then you have the gizzards, which is softer than I expected. And also the liver here, also very good. Everything here goes very well, just that it's a very old school flavor. Some people may not enjoy this flavor. Next up, we're going to have some breakfast and we're going to have it from this store called Hong Ki Porridge. This store here is a favorite of this location here and it has been around for a very long time and lots of people have been eating his porridge. And here, from this stall is the three dollars uh, pork porridge, and I ordered another. I ordered this together with some deep fried dough or yutiao. So here, what you have is you have a very nice porridge, nicely flavored, slightly peppery, and then you have very fresh ingredients you put inside here. And it's okay. One thing I must say here: the liver here. It's still bloody when you it's, when it's still in this porridge here, and the texture of the liver. The only way I can explain it, it's still fresh. So what you have is you have a liver which is cooked on the outside and still very raw on the inside. So some people may really like this texture of the liver. It's a very good porridge for breakfast. Nice uh, meatballs, which I quite like, seasoned very well. Savory pork slices, nice porky flavor. If you like porridge, this place here, just a very breakfast friendly porridge. Next up is this store here. We sell something very interesting, and the name of the store is called Mila Hokkaido Curry Puff. And here, the name Hokkaido is in their 
store name is because of this bag here which used to hold Hokkaido flour, flour from Hokkaido and he actually uses this flour to actually make the skin of his curry puff and so if you order for example on the left side here which is the cheese potato sardine or normal potato curry puff it will cost you 250 for 3 curry puff or if you order their more interesting flavors which is on the right which is the mentaiko potato or the banana cinnamon or the choco rito or the chiki curry it will cost you three dollars for three uh, curry puff and so what i did was i actually ordered um, a variety of different types of curry puff from them so first off here is their normal sardine and potato curry puff and here i must say their curry puff size is a bit smaller than what you normally expect from a curry puff um, finger size maybe that's what i can say this finger food size it's like maybe um, half the size of a old chunky curry puff but even though they say that they use a uh, hokkaido flour to make the skin i can't really tell the difference maybe because for me i can't really tell the difference what type of flour they use but I must say their curry puff here is quite interesting, quite nice. I quite enjoyed it. Uh, the sardine was quite ordinary. There's no um, sharp flavors from the curry from the sardine. Just quite ordinary sardine one. But their potato, I quite enjoyed it. I like the flavor that came from the mixture of the potato and the curry inside here. And the skin, it's maybe because I, I, I didn't eat it fresh. You know, it has been uh, sitting around for quite a while. So the skin itself was a bit harder, a bit brady, but I actually quite enjoyed that texture of the uh, skin. And then up next, I ordered uh, more different types of special flavors for curry puff. So at the bottom here was actually the mentaiko cheese. And then at the middle there is the chocolate or choco red retro and the last one is their banana cinnamon or cinnamon banana so you can tell the difference by the dots you see there and like i said interesting flavors so i did cut it up to give it a try and to see what it's like and so the first one at the bottom here is their mentaiko cheese honestly what i felt like, for this one years i felt it was quite ordinary the mentaiko didn't really give much flavor to the curry puff. Um, I think it's just because I suspect it's because the mentaiko has been cooked, so you don't have the nice bouncy uh, bites that you normally get when you bite into the eggs of the mentaiko. So I didn't really enjoy the mentaiko. The mentaiko was quite ordinary. Then the middle one, which is the chocolate one, the chocolate one I quite enjoyed it. It's maybe it's because of the texture of the brady texture of the of the skin it goes very well with the chocolate. And then lastly, you have the cinnamon banana. This one, surprisingly, I quite enjoyed. Even though I don't like cinnamon at all, but I enjoyed the cinnamon banana. It refreshed my palate. I don't know how to say it. It make it somehow the combination of banana and the cinnamon inside this curry puff was quite delightful and quite nice. I quite, like I said, I liked it. So here, I must say, I really, really love the interesting new flavors uh, this store is introducing to curry puff and you must come down and support him so that he will introduce more interesting flavors and if you want to eat his um, curry puff i recommend the chocolate one the cinnamon banana and also the ordinary potato these are my three flavors that i tried and so this brings us to the end here of our adventure at this food center which is the Commonwealth Crescent Food Center and here is a very old food center with lots and lots of good food and because the older the food center you can find somehow the food here will be better anyway thank you very much for joining me um, for this food adventure here at Commonwealth one of the older estates in Singapore and since you know how to get here Come down and try the food. And lastly, before we go, please do me a favor 
please help me by liking my video, sharing my video and also subscribing to my channel. And lastly, but the most important thing, besides coming down here to try the food, is to join me for my next food adventure. I will see you there. Bye bye.